Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Rainex, Hum by Verizon, State Farm, and WeatherTech. The future is now at Hyundai. The 2019 Hyundai Nexo fuel cell is the technological flagship of their eco-propulsion portfolio. Our time behind the wheel included zipping through West Hollywood traffic, cruising along the coast, and through the curves of Topanga Canyon. The Nexo's juice is generated by a fuel cell stack up front that converts hydrogen and oxygen into electricity. The result is 161 horsepower and a brisk 291 pound-feet of torque going to the front wheels for up to 380 miles. The Nexo has the same driving characteristics as other EVs. It's quiet and there's a lot of torque. There are three hydrogen tanks here. They're all three in the rear and they're all three the same size. That gave the engineers room for a multi-link suspension in the rear. So during our drive, it handled well and was very comfortable. The Nexo's personalized platform creates a solid and substantial feel that's quickly noticeable as soon as you slip inside. The driver-oriented cabin has a futuristic yet familiar feel with controls intuitively placed on the bridge console. From a commanding seating position, steering is light and adds to the quick and nimble maneuvers. Engineers have drawn from their experience with the Tucson fuel cell that's been in production since 2013. Along with improving the powertrain, the suite of technology includes a blind spot view monitor and remote self-parking. Refueling the Nexo can take as little as five minutes, but relies on hydrogen fueling stations, most of which right now are located in California. So the 2019 Hyundai Nexo fuel cell will be available in the Golden State later this year. Hyundai's electric endeavors also include battery electric. That's where the 2019 Hyundai Kona Electric comes in. The front fascia is a subtle sign electricity is swiftly rolling the front wheels. It shares the same platform as its gas-sipping siblings with some adjustments to accommodate the 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery under the floor that supplies the motor, generating 201 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque for 258 miles. So we've now driven all three powertrains off from the Kona, and this Kona Electric has the most horsepower and the most torque. The thing I really like about driving EVs is that instant torque you get. And here in the Kona, it's not only quick, it's strong. You get a nice push back into the seat every time you step on the throttle. So while these vehicles are designed to benefit the environment, there's also a big dose of driving satisfaction when you're sitting here in this seat. McPherson struts up front and multi-links in the rear make the spirited subcompact crossover comfortable and stable on choppy city streets. One of the features of EVs is regenerative braking. Sometimes it can be a little grabby. The Kona Electric has three levels and you set them with these paddle shifters on the steering wheel. I have it set at level three. As soon as you take your foot off the throttle, the brake is strong, but it's also very smooth. The interior reflects the EV's character. The traditional shifter is replaced by shift-by-wire buttons on the bridge console. Safety is orchestrated by technology like forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision warning, and lane keeping assist. The future is now at Hyundai, and they're moving forward energized by electricity. The 2019 Hyundai Kona Electric goes on sale in California later this year with availability in other parts of the country later. We'll have more on both the Hyundai Nexo and Kona Electric coming up on Motor.